Okay, Steve here with another video in uh, Rack 1 in the CAR room. Uh, this time we're going to look at the two transcoding devices. They're called Terranex units, uh, also from Blackmagic Design. And the idea is that uh, some of the, the main system we have here, the whole system, is based around Ultra HD at uh, 25 frames per second. So that's where you see it sometimes called 4K. Not quite 4K in, ge in general terms, in the, the, by the strictest definition of the term, it's not strictly speaking 4K, but it's become the accepted term for Ultra HD, which is 31, uh, 3840 pixels across by 2160 pixels down, and in our case, on this side of the pond, at 25 frames a second. It's all progressive video, no interlaced at 4K, so 31, 3840 by 2160, and our system is based on our, the system we have here is based on that video resolution. So all of your sources, all of the cameras, uh, all of the graphics you need to produce need to be produced at that resolution. However, some of our monitoring here is HD, so we need to be able to turn our Ultra HD, the, the 4K, if you like, down into good old-fashioned 1920 by 1080, so we can get it on some of our screens. Conversely, we have some sources which are 1920 by 1080 and we need to get them up to 3840 by 2160 in order to use them with our vision mixer and other devices like the Hyperdex. So we have transcoding going on in both directions or conversion going on in both directions. Real time, on the fly, high resolution video pumps in, lower resolution video comes out and also the other direction. So we have two Terranex units here. The upper one converts from Ultra HD down to HD. The lower one converts from HD back up to Ultra HD. The main reason for the, low, the second one is for things like stuff that's stored on the server in HD. If you want to pump it into the system, it will up res it for you so that we can, so it's compatible with everything else that we've got now. Okay, so there are on and off buttons on the right hand side, so I will push those. That's that one. He says. There you go. Got to hold it in. Just for a second. Okay, and as you see, they have monitoring displays as well. There's nothing coming through on the lower one at the moment because the server is not powered on. So don't worry about that. I'll show you the buttons anyway. Uh, won't need to use this very much. Again, it's all been pre-programmed. The only reason you might is if anybody came along and changed anything. But in this particular case, the upper one, the upper unit converts from Ultra HD down to 1080i, 1080i50. So you're in, push the in button, and it's basically saying it's SDI. It's embedded audio. If we had any audio that needed to be turned, to, needed to be sent to an HD, uh, an HD destination, so it's embedded audio just in case. Ultra HD is the source. Progressive video at 25 frames a second. It's as simple as that. That that's where we're coming from. Where we want to go to, we push the out button, and you see it changes again. It's SDI embedded SDI video video sig video cable embedded audio. But in this case, the destination is going to 1080 interlaced pictures and 50, 50 fields per second. I nearly said frames then. It's interlaced, so it's 50 fields. It, you may see it referred to as 1080i50. You may see the Ultra HD referred to as 2160p25. So progressive versus interlaced, 25 versus 50. I'm sure you're familiar with it. But that's, that's the converter that goes from Ultra HD to HD. To HD. The lower converter does exactly the opposite. So as you can probably see from the lights, um, SDI embedded, just like above. 1080i50 is the source, so you're going in with 1080i50, and you're going out with Ultra HD Progressive 25. So it's completely the reverse. And as you can see, we've got pictures now, so something must have come on while I've been doing while I'm doing this. But there you go. That's how that works. Oh, there's no source. There is a destination, obviously it's set up because it's connected at the other end, but uh, there is no source currently in active, currently active, so that's why the display is off. So, again, you wouldn't need to do very much with these unless you wanted to change what these, these units do. If you were going to go from Ultra HD to something else, or if you want to go from something else to Ultra HD, you might change the configuration of these buttons somewhat. You're not going to look very much on the buttons on the right-hand side because they're things like video gain, uh, different presets that you can save for different things, menu options, configuration options, things like that. The on-off button, obviously, you might, you might be using. But uh, for the most part, once these are set, you leave them alone, you don't really need to touch them. So, it's just there for information.
Okay. Uh, just, just so you know, the other black magic units down below are distribution amplifiers. So you give one signal in, in this case it's a 12G signal, an ultra HD signal, and it gives seven different signals out. So there are loads of BNC cables plugged in at the back. I'm not going to show it to you because I'm sure you can pop around and have a look at some point. Um, but yeah, they're just take basically there to split one signal and give, it, give the same signal to multiple destinations. Helps with the distribution and, of uh, signals around the various different pieces of kit that we've got here. There you go. So uh, that's it for this one. Another video coming up soon. Cheers.